You are about to listen to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening to us at MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, fists in the air. Okay, here we are. We're live here at Rock and Arrange with Jim Florentine. And I just wanted to shoot the shit with you for just a minute and just catch up with you. I just dropped a deuce. Did you? Yeah. So. Which ones did you use? One of these clean, dirty ones over here? Or yeah, do you got a, yeah, yeah. special ones? No, the dirty ones. You got it. Oh, mean, damn. You know, when in Rome. <laughs> you, well, you'd think they'd have like special ones, like, like for the, the big ones where they have you change it, where you take your children in to change them. Those are the special ones. You found where those are yet? Yeah. No, I didn't, but if I, if I would have known, I probably would have done that. That's a secret. That's a good idea. I'll just, you know, and then they go, then you come out, like, where's your kid? You didn't, you're supposed to, I'm like, I, I, you know. You run out, act like you lost him. I say, fucking. Maybe he fell in the hole. Yeah, he fell in the, yeah. He's taking a bath right now. So you're out here getting ready to introduce some bands this weekend here at Rock and Arrangement. How'd you get the gig to do that? I and my agent just got in contact. They wanted to have a comedy tent this year, so. That was sweet. <laughs> yes, and I got a tent that I'm going to do shows uh, Saturday and Sunday on. And I'll introduce a couple of bands here and there over the course of the weekend. So it's going to be great, man. You got Ari Shafir coming on there, man. He's a monster, oh, man. Oh, my God. He's I'm fucking great. I'm so looking forward to that. Yeah, Big J. Okerson is another great oh, yeah. comic, too, man. So And there's uh, Bill Squire. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forget the other guys, but those couple of local guys and stuff, too. It's going to be great, man. Where's the little mustache guy at? Who? Joe Howard? Yeah. I don't know. He might be coming tomorrow. I'm not sure. He has like a best spot. I don't know if a best oh, can know. make it from Cleveland. Uh, it might. I know one tank it will, though. <laughs> yeah, but it's like fucking baby blue. Yeah, he's got the little bumpers on the back and shit. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an awful color. He could not pull us up here with all the motorcycles. Here. I, I always wonder if those things break down, do they call like, who do they call to come fix them? They probably call a gay guy to come over and suck your dick because you feel bad that your vest went blue. I hear you on that. Hey, so, so, so how, how is your CD that you put out, the last one, Awful Jokes, does that thing still sound anywhere? Yeah, yeah, it's still it's on iTunes, it's on my website, I have it on my comedy shows. Yeah, it did really well. The people understand it, you know, it's basically my bad jokes that I, when I first started doing comedy, I found my notebooks, and I just read them in a, you know, in a microphone. I did the first review that on your CD when you put it out. Oh, yeah, that's right, you did. You gave it a great review. Oh, I love that thing. I, 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 th- I remember the one main thing about it was is that you need to go in there with that attitude, like, this is going to be horrible, and that's how you, you just get the most out of it. Yeah, that's the thing. I said, if you like to hear somebody in pain, like the worst joke, oh, yeah. like, it's basically like, oh, shit, that was bad. Oh, that was, oh, my God, is that terrible? Like, if, you want, if you're into that stuff, you'll oh, yeah. love it. I remember when I um, <clears throat> came out. I was doing a club, and I, I mentioned on stage, I said, this is what it is. I explained it. I yeah. had a couple of jokes. Some guy bought it. The next night, he comes back to the same venue I was playing at. He goes, dude, um, I want my money back. I'm like, okay. He goes, yeah. I go, what? The CD doesn't work. What? He goes, no, this is fucking terrible, dude. I, yeah. I told you what. He goes, I didn't know it was going to be this bad. I go, I t- okay. I go, so I'm giving him money back. He goes, dude, I just want to let you know. I hope you don't take this personally. I'm a big fan. I got all your work. But seriously, you're committing career suicide by putting this out. <laughs> and I'm like, can I use that as a quote? Because I love that. Some people don't get it, which is fine. I love that when you put that out. I was, I was really, I was counting down the days like a lot of other people were. I'm like, oh, this is going to, this is going to sound like shit, and I'm so looking forward to it. Because, you know, I listen to your podcast, and we replay that on our network also. Yeah, and, yeah. and, oh, man, and we we had an opportunity to play some of the clips prior to going out there. People were calling in our show, and was like, man, turn that shit off. And yeah, I know. I went on radio though. shows and promoted people. Like, that's, why would you go on that show and promote that? You know, Joe Howard, speaking of mustache, yeah. he's the one who encouraged me to do that, because I was telling him about it, and then, um... I, when I did my podcast, um, I read them out of my notebook, and people yeah. were crazy how much they loved them. Joe's like, you got to put a whole album out. And Joe was, I, I would send him over to Joe. I go, Joe, give him on a scale of one to ten, ten being the best. Give me numbers on each one, because I only put on put the worst ones in there. Yeah. I put like halfway decent ones. Ninety percent of me gave zeros. Nah. <laughs> I'm like, good, that's that's perfect. That's what you want to go for, because you go for the different factors on there. Yeah. And it's like, hey, if, if anyone is nervous about like you know comedy and uh, I'm not good at it. You could see it. You could fucking make it through. If I, put, oh, yeah. if I was writing that stuff when I first started, you know, and turned out okay as a comic, then there's hope for everybody out there. I hear you on that. So what do you got plans for the rest of this year? Just, you know, doing that new season at Metal Show starts June 1st. VH1 Classic, brand new episodes. Um, I do my podcast, Comedy Metal Midgets, on every week. And I'm doing an episode of uh, Californication. I'm going to play a pimp. Oh, nice. I'm going to L.A. next week to tape that. Sweet. Yeah, I know she can be in some sun. 
Huh? You're getting some sun. Yeah, yeah. And then also, um, uh, I'm going to be on Amy Schumer's show. Oh, uh, I think June 11th I'll be on. So her inside Amy Schumer. So. She's really blowing up. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Get Comedy Central special. Yeah, so that's the shit that's going on. Nice. Well, damn. Well, I'm going to let you get going here because I know yeah, you're going to we'll, be able to we'll do, do this tomorrow, too. I'm going to be around good. shit, too. Absolutely, yeah. And we're broadcasting live then tomorrow. We have the live feed and everything going. Oh, perfect. So I just wanted to touch base with you and hang out with you for a minute here and just say, man, hey, have fun this weekend, man. Rock and range. Thanks, man. Okay, take care. You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening and please visit us at MaximumThreshold.net.